Hi, it is Nicholas Dickinson, and I am here to show you how to play Altissimo, which learning this will increase your saxophone range. So first, you start off by working on the control throughout the range of your saxophone, being able to play low very comfortably, being able to play high, so I can, and being able to change in between. So you can be like, like being able to go through that and just doing other exercises throughout to go throughout your range and be able to switch and all of this is to ensure that you have the best control possible for your mouth because altissimo revolves around you being able to control your mouth as well as breath support. So one of the things that I like to start with are overtones, which is where you play one note, you finger one note, and you change that note with your mouth without moving any of your fingers. So I find it easiest to start with low B flat. So I finger low B flat. And then, you know, if you play higher, sometimes it's easier to blow faster and to change your embouchure a little bit, enough to where, like, to loosen out your corners. And that same rule applies with overtones. So you want to play low E flat, do as normal as you would. And then you want to go and change the way your mouth is and change the speed of your air as if you were playing a high note. So you go. And sometimes it's easier if you tone as well. Although it doesn't really matter. So step two, you're gonna be learning altissimo fingerings. Part two learning the altissimo. So now that you've prepared, you've been practicing your lower and upper ranges, you've been practicing going in between them very quickly, being able to control your mouth very good. It is time to learn. So first off, we're gonna learn the buttons that we're going to use. So you have this key. You're gonna use this key. And don't worry, don't worry about this B key because it automatically gets pressed down whenever you press this. And then your A key, your G key, and then your octave key. So once we press down this key, your A key, and your G key, and your octave key, you know, instead of playing high, at, high E, use the weird key that you just learned, and then your A and your G key with the octave key, all together. Surprise, it's the E. And then once you remove this, it goes up into F. We're gonna go to F sharp because, like myself, my saxophone does not have an F sharp key on the side, so we're gonna have to improvise. So, that's your side keys, and you want to go press this bottom one down, and you also want to go and press down this first button as if you were playing F. So you want to hold down the bottom side key and the first button. So you go like you're gonna finger F again, right? But you also press down the bottom side key and the regular F key. And you finger it, you get one, two, your octave key, and F and the bottom side key. You go. Now you can play F sharp. It might take some time though. 
So I've been doing this for a year now. So I have some experience with this. Now it's time for G. So it's easiest to just have your bottom side key down and just take off this finger. That's all you have to do. So it goes, oh, and take off this one. So you only have this. Now you take them off and you get Now you can play G. Now we're going to learn A flat or G sharp. So you just want to go one, two, your A and your G key, and then you have your F, your E, and your D, and your octave key. Now this one is very tricky. It took me months of just practicing and practicing and getting very good at controlling to do. Now some say that G is the hardest altissimo note to play. So if you can play it, that's great. And if you can't, just keep working at it, okay? Like, I believe you can do this. So, I'm gonna be playing A now, or A flat. Okay, and now I have to play A. This middle side key, you just press that down at, with the normal stuff. You just kinda press it down to your side. As you can see there, I squeaked a little bit because it is kind of hard to control, you know, hiding up there. But now also you can use the squeak such as that to get even higher, like the notes. So like I'm just fingering down G, I go right. And see, I got D, right? D. So there's a quick little lesson for Altissimo. Here's a quick rundown of the things you need to do. The first thing you need to do is you need to practice controlling within your range, being able to go from low to high. And then the second thing you need to do is to be able to practice going out and changing pitches with your embouchure called overtones. And if you want any good overtone exercises, I will link some in the description. And it's easier to start off with a low B flat and just kind of like change your mouth as if you're playing higher. And also for me starting out, it was easier to tongue within each pitch, like whenever I was trying to change pitches. And then the last thing is just keep on doing it, keep on practicing. Playing scales is one of the best ways, I would say, to get used to going throughout your embouchure and like your range and testing everything out. So that has been a quick lesson on being able to play altissimo. And I hope you enjoy this video. And I hope you like it. See you next time. And here's another lesson from Apples for the Soul.